Hello YouTube, Eric Yay, we're reviewing the AOKO desktop USB condenser microphone model AK6. So I wanted to get a USB condenser microphone because sometimes I have to do audio overdubs on my videos and if I ever do decide to do live streaming, I'll probably need some type of microphone that's not hooked up to a camera. So anyways, if you look at this, it's really good design, has a volume switch, has a quick on off mic switch, has a headphone input so that you can just use the microphone by itself and you won't have any background noise in the back. And this echo, I'm taking it like this is reverb. So we'll figure that out because I have uh, some overdubbing to do. The connector itself is a, just a standard USB A connector and they actually give you a cable to use. So I actually like that design because it makes it harder for this to break. If you had micro USB or something like that, those typically tend to break. Inside the box, it also comes with a set of headphones to plug into the unit. It has a tripod for the microphone right here. And it also has this wonderful tripod adapter. So if you want to plug this into a tripod, you can actually just make it go right into this and you can use it on a regular microphone stand or boom stand. So that's pretty sweet. So to use the included tripod that they give you, which is really good quality, it's, it's metal and hard plastic on top, but you might not understand how to do this. Uh, I have a background in music, so you see this little thing right here? This is so you can attach to a regular uh, mic boom stand. But if you want to use the tripod, you just take this little brass insert out by unscrewing it. And then you just screw the tripod into the little ending here. And I'll screw right in and serve as a little microphone stand, which is basically how I'm going to use this so that I can save some space. And then you can tighten it down the microphone will stand up by itself. I'm going to take the provided USB cable they gave with the microphone and I'm going to put it into the microphone and it just goes right down here. You just match up this, I believe it's called A-type connector at the bottom here. And then finally, because I don't want to be going to my hubs or anything, I'm just going to undo my flight sim setup for a little bit and I'm going to plug it right into the keyboard in the back of the USB. And we'll see what it does. It's, this is Windows 10, by the way. It says it's setting it up. So to use the AOKL condenser microphone at, as the output for the sound, you just have to go into sound and select it under speakers as your default device. Then any audio you play through the computer or that you set Audacity to read through the speakers of this, it'll go right through here and you'll hear any outside noise. So Zach and I are going to test the condenser microphone, and uh, we're just going to have a conversation, right, Zach? Right. Okay, so what would you do today? Um, um, I just hang out with Mommy and play, and yeah. with my baby and Mommy, and even we play with me. Yeah? Yep. It was a good day? Yep. Yeah? Yep. Do you like being home with Maddie? Yep. Which is his new baby sister, by the yeah, way. Yeah, right. Because you're a what? Big brother. So as you can see, the AOKO USB desktop condenser mic is actually a very good buy. It's very high quality. And Zach, what do you think about it? Good. You think it's good? Mm -hmm. What makes it so good? Um, I like to talk in it. You like to talk in it? Uh-huh. It's kind of cool how it records our sound, huh? Right. All right, so if you'd like to pick up your AOKO USB desktop condenser microphone, please look at the link in the description below. We'll send you to Amazon where you can purchase your very own. You'll be supporting the Eric DIY channel at the same time. Zach and I, right, uh -huh. want to say thank you for your support and have a wonderful evening. As always, if you like this video, found it useful, please subscribe. And if you have a product that you would like reviewed, please contact Eric by emailing him at Eric5150 DIY at gmail.com. Have a great day.